Hi YouTube, I'm back. I've been away for a while. I think I mentioned in my previous video that uh, my job as a bank robber kind of keeps me busy. I am on parole, I mean on vacation, so I can catch up on some videos. Um, one of the videos I am late to doing, but I was tagged by the beautiful Jerisha Couture and a couple of other fantastic ladies, and I'm sorry I didn't write all these names down, but um, to do the one bag tag and it takes a lot of thought um, the one bag in your collection that you would keep for whatever reason and I cross my fingers on this because I believe in putting out there to say whatever that comes your way so cross my fingers this is just a tag not for real um, so the one bag I picked might be a surprise to you but I chose the delightful GM and the reason I chose this bag is I am a hobo style gal. I also am a tote gal. Um, I chose this bag because functionally it is a hobo, but it also can work as a tote. Um, I can use it for travel. I can use it for every day. It's just a, a beautiful bag, I think. And as it ages, it gets even more beautiful. And I'll kind of incorporate an update on this bag too, but. It's a giant bag. I know it's not for everyone. Um, if you hold, if you look at just the dimensions themselves, it's huge. But like I say, you don't normally wear it like this. You wear it and it slouches a lot. Um, I use it for travel. I use it when I'm going shopping because you can stuff your shopping bags in here. Uh, do a little mod shot. I'm 5'4". It's a large bag, but it does slouch. I like it a lot. Let me show you fits, what fits inside. Shot of the interior. As you can tell, there's lots of room. That's why it's great for travel. Just a little bit of an update on how it's aging. It's three years old. Um, the patinas, you can see the scratches from everyday wear. coming across a little bit lighter on the patina in in real life it's more of a golden honey color more scratches it's inevitable there's getting a good kind of idea of what the patina is the tabs on the bottom are starting to curl up just a bit no scratches on the canvas overall holding up excellent at one point, I owned all of the sizes of the Delightful, the PM, the MM, and the GM. I sold the PM because at the time, I thought it was a little too small for me, so I still have the MM and the GM. Um, I use the MM currently more than I use the GM. The GM I tend to use more for shopping or traveling. Um, but if I had to give up all the bags, and I could only keep one, it would be the GM because it could use as a everyday bag and a travel bag. I'm not sure I could use the MM as a travel bag. Um, so since I'm late to this tag, um, a little twist is if I had to sell, instead of the one bag tag, in your current collection, what's the one bag that you would keep? Uh, I sort of changed it around a little bit and said if you had to sell all your bags and one bag that may not be in my collection what one bag would I choose and there's actually a tie on that one would be the Speedy B30 from Louis Vuitton and I would probably choose Damier Aben canvas just because it's an all-weather canvas it's it's the perfect size at this point in my life it also can be worn crossbody handheld or shoulder the other option that would kind of rival it in terms of if it would be the one bag I would own would be the Hermes Evelyn uh, in the GM size probably, but I'm not quite sure on that. Um, great crossbody bag, um, casual, sleek. Those would be the two choices I would have to make um, if I were to sell everything in the current collection to buy one bag that would I would have for the rest of my life. Um, 
So that's a twist on that. Anyway, thank you for the tag to everyone who tagged me. My choice was a little bit of an unusual one, I think, for people, but it is the delightful GM. Here she is. It's three years old. It's patinating nicely. I anticipate in the next 10 to 15 years, she will become even more beautiful. So that's my one bag tag. Um, I know I'm late to the game, but I tag X-Ray GG, Nastasia M53, Shanti of Shanti TV, Sassy Kimchi, and Louis V83. It would be interesting to hear what a guy's perspective would be. So follow me on Instagram, same name as this channel. Thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks, have a great week.